Holofron, this is Nathan here with an important question. If you were to die today, are you 100% certain that you go to heaven and why? There are far too many people in this world who think that they're going to be going to heaven because they're good people. They've done good works. They go to church. They read their Bibles. They obey the commandments. They've gotten baptized. They taught Sunday school. But the Bible teaches in Romans chapter 3, verse 10, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. In verse 23, the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You've sinned, I've sinned, and we have all sinned. And the Bible teaches in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That is to say that for all our sins, there's a penalty for that. There's a payment for that. And that is death. There's a physical death. That's true. But there's also a second death. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 14 and 15, it says, And death and hell were cast into a lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The Bible teaches in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, that there's a list of people who's going to be going to hell. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You may be thinking that you're not a murderer, so therefore you don't deserve to go to hell. But the Bible teaches that even all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. That includes you and I. That includes all of us. We've all lied. We've all done worse things than lie. So let's face it. We all deserve to go to hell. And the Bible teaches in Revelation chapter 14, verse 11, that hell is a very scary place. It is a place of eternal torment, suffering, and pain. The Bible teaches, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest, nor day, day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. A lot of people in the world today think that hell is simply a place where they can have fun, they can party and drink. But that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that hell is a scary place and the place that lasts forever and ever. Now, here are the bad news, but here are now the good news. The Bible teaches in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, Jesus Christ is described as the begotten Son of God, and God manifested in the flesh. He was born of a virgin. He lived a perfect life of obedience to the commandments of God. He never sinned. He healed people of their disabilities and their sicknesses. He healed the blind and the lame, the sick. He raised people from the dead. He cast out demons. But they spit on him, they beat him, and they nailed him to the cross. And the Bible teaches when he was on that cross, he bore our sins in his own body on a tree. Every sin that you commit, every sin that I've ever committed, every sin that you will commit or I ever will commit, it's as if Jesus committed them himself. The Bible teaches in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, he that knew no sin became sin for us. And the Bible is very clear in 1 John chapter 2 verse 2. And he's the appropriation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. That is to say that Jesus Christ died for not only those who are going to heaven, but for every single person. But does that mean that we're all going to be going to heaven? Absolutely not. There's one thing that we all must do to go to heaven. This question is asked in Acts chapter 16, verse 30 and 31. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. It's simple. They didn't say to repent of your sins, to commit your life to Jesus, to make Jesus the Lord of your life, to go to church, to read your Bible, to teach Sunday school, to get baptized, to live an obedient life all through the way to the end, to live a good life, to obey the commandments. They simply said, Believe. This is why we see in the Bible all sorts of men who lived wicked lives, who did wicked things, such as the Apostle Paul, King Saul, King David, King Solomon, and Samson who did wicked things, but they still went to heaven. Why? Is it because they're good people? Of course not. It's because they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. By contrast, there are a lot of people who lived, may have lived a better life on the surface, or maybe they did live a better life, but if they didn't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they're going to have to pay for their sins in hell forever and ever. And in order to get saved, here's what you must do. 
you must admit that you're a sinner. Do you believe that you're a sinner? Do you believe they deserve to go to hell? Do you believe that there's nothing that you can do to earn heaven by your own works? Do you believe that your own works, such as going to church, living a good life, being a nice person, they're all in vain to get you into heaven? Do you believe that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin? He lived a perfect life. He's God manifested in the flesh. He's the begotten Son of God. And that uh, while on the cross, he bore your very own sins. After he was nailed to the cross, he descended into hell three days and three nights. And three days and three nights later, God raised him from the dead. And he showed his disciples the holes in his hands for to verify that it was really him. Do you believe that Jesus Christ bore each and every one of your sins on the cross. The sins that you have committed, the sins that you are committing, and the sins that you will commit. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven? Jesus said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Do you believe that there is no other way to heaven? Do you believe that all other religions lead you into hell? Other belief systems, other doctrines, they all lead you into hell? Do you believe that by putting all your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he did for you on the cross, you can receive eternal life, regardless of what you do, regardless of what you have done or what you will do? Do you believe that you can never lose your salvation no matter what you can or can, can't, what you, what you do in the future? The choice is yours, my friend. God bless.